Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Trip Ni Mike. On our last vlog, we discussed about nouns and different kinds of nouns such as common and proper nouns. This time, we're gonna be discussing a new topic and that is plural nouns. Plural nouns are words used to indicate that there is more than one person, place, or thing. For example, two oranges, four feet. while singular noun means one. For example, one toy, a pen, an apple. However, there are several rules to follow when making nouns plural. For example, number one rule, most nouns have plural form. For instance, girl and the plural form of girl is girls. You just need to put S at the end of the word. Apple. To become plural, you just need to put S at the end of the word and that is apples. Second rule is words ending in F or FE. For example, Cough, loaf, while F E, life, and knife. To make these words plural, you have to consider things. So, for example, cough will become V E, loaf. F there will become V. And then you have to put S at the end of the word. So cough, calves, loaf, lobes. While life, F E will become V E and then put S. Well, knife, F-E will become V-E and then put S. Life will become lives. Knife will become knives. There we go. That's how you change this nouns to plural form. Rule number three is for words ending in sh, ch, double s, and double z. For example, church for ch, bush for sh, pass for double s, buzz for double z. To make these words plural, you have to consider things. So you just need to put ES. So church, churches. Bush, bushes. Pass, passes. And buzz, buzzes. There you go. Simple as that. 
well, the fourth rule is for words ending in Y preceded by a consonant. So when you say consonant, this R, B, C, D, F, G, until you reach Z. Except A, E, I, O, U, because those are vowels. For example, baby, lady. So, as you can see here, the word ends in Y, and then the first letter of that is B, which is a consonant. So, with this rule, what you're gonna do is you need to change Y to I. And then you add ES. So baby will become babies. Well, lady, change Y to I and then add ES. So lady will become ladies. There we have it. The fifth rule is for words ending in Y preceded by a vowel. What is a vowel again? Those are A, E, I, O, and U. For example, we have a toy and a monkey here. So as you can see, the word ends in Y and the letter before Y there is O, which is a vowel. Well, in monkey, the letter before Y is E, which is another vowel. So what you're gonna do is, you just need to add S at the end of the word, which will become toy, toys. Monkey will become monkeys. Rule number six is for words ending in S, or X. For example, bus for S, the fox for X, and box. So to make this words plural, you just need to add ES at the end of the word. So bus will become buses, fox will become foxes, while box will become boxes. The seventh rule is for words ending in O. For example, potato, tomato. To make these words plural, you just need to add ES at the end of the word. So potato will become potatoes and tomato will become tomatoes. Rule number eight applies on words ending in O, but they're musical words. For example, piano, alto, soprano. So there is Exemption to the rule with the words ending in O. With piano, alto, and soprano, you just need to add S. So piano will become pianos, alto, altos, soprano, sopranos. For rule number nine, we call this irregular nouns. Irregular nouns because they have different form of plural nouns. For example, Person will become people, child will become children, woman will become women, man will become men, foot will become feet, tooth will become teeth. Goose 
will become yeast. Bacteria will become bacterium. Grandchild will become grandchildren. And mouse will become mice. Rule number 10, we use a plural noun for one thing which has two parts. For example, binoculars, scissors, glasses, trousers, pants, shorts, tights, pajamas or pajamas, and jeans. For rule number 11, some words have one form for singular and plural. For example, sheep, singular form of sheep is sheep. Just the same, you don't need to put S at the end of the word. Salmon, salmon, fish, Fish, deer, deer, bison, bison, moose, moose, staff, staff. Additional information, some words end in ICS but are not plural. For example, politics, economics, and mathematics. As you can see there, these words end in ICS but they are not plural. There you have the 11 rules in making nouns plural. You may pause this video for 5 minutes and review your notes because you're going to have your exercises. Direction. Read the words below and write the plural form on the blank. You only have five minutes to do the exercise. Time is up. Bring out your red pen and check your correct answer. So let's answer. Number one. So the plural form of moose is the same. Moose. While boss, you just need to add ES. Child will become children. Deer is the same. Man will become men. Orange will become oranges. Wife will become wives. Loaf, loaves. Piano, just S. Tomato, you add ES. Dish, add ES, dishes. Fox, add ES again, foxes. Dictionary, so change Y to I and then add es monkey will become monkeys only s party parties es so change y first to i and then add es toy add s toys shelf will become shelves change f to ve then add s leaf change f to VE and then add S so it will become leaves bacteria will become bacterium person will become people goose it will become geese 
Mouse is mice. Tooth, teeth. Staff, the same. Fish, also the same. There you have it, 25 items. I hope you got them correctly, okay? That's it for today. And our next topic, countable and uncountable nouns. See you again. Bye. That's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, Trick Me Mike. Like this video by clicking the thumbs up down below and hit the notification bell for more updates. Follow me na rin po ako sa social media accounts like Twitter and Instagram at Trick Me Mike. Like my Facebook page, Trick Me Mike. Thank you for watching. See you again.